as a cosmologist, what's your intuition about whether there is or isn't intelligent life out there, uh, outside of our own? Yeah. I would say I'm one of the pessimists in that I, I don't necessarily think that we're the only ones in the observable universe, which goes out, you know, roughly 14 billion years in light travel time and more like, you know, 46 billion years when you take into account the expansion of space. So the diameter of our observable universe is something like, you know, 90, 92 billion light years. That encompasses, you know, 100 billion to a trillion galaxies with, um, you know, 100 billion stars each. So now you're talking about something like 10 to the 22nd, 10 to the 23rd power stars yeah. and roughly an equal number of uh, Earth-like planets and so on. Um, so there, there there may well be uh, other intelligent life. But your, but your if, sense is our galaxy is not teeming with life. Yeah, our galaxy, our Milky Way galaxy with several hundred billion stars and and potentially habitable planets is not teeming with intelligent life intelligent I, yeah i wouldn't well i'll get to the primitive life the bacteria in a moment but um you know we we may well be the only ones in our milky way galaxy at most a handful i'd say but i'd probably side with the school of thought that suggests we're the only ones in our own galaxy just because i don't see human intelligence as being a natural evolutionary path for okay. life. Um, I mean, there's a there's a number of arguments. First of all, there's been more than 10 billion species of life on Earth mm -hmm. in its history. Yes, uh, nothing has approached our level of intelligence and mechanical ability and curiosity. You know, whales and dolphins appear to be reasonably intelligent, but there's no evidence that they can think abstract thoughts. That they're curious about the world. They certainly can't build machines with which to study the world. Um, so that's one argument. Secondly, we came about as early hominids only four or five million years ago, and as ho Homo sapiens only about a quarter of a million years ago. So for the vast majority of the history of life on Earth, an intelligent alien zipping by Earth would have said, there's nothing particularly intelligent or mechanically able on yeah. Earth, okay? Yeah. Thirdly, it's not clear that our intelligence is a long-term evolutionary advantage. Now, it's clear that in the last 100 years, 200 years, we've improved the lives of millions, hundreds of millions of people, but at the risk of potentially destroying ourselves, either intentionally or unintentionally or through neglect, as we discussed before. That's a really interesting point, which is it's possible that there a huge amount of intelligent civilizations have been born even through our galaxy, but right. they live very briefly They're and they die. Flash bulbs in the night. Flight, flight. <laughs> that brings me flash to the fourth, the, the fourth issue. 